Hey, SEO friends, we're back. Uh, I appreciate the support, and as promised, 10 new videos today. Let's get straight into it. Keywords and Cheats, keywordsandcheats.com. So Keywords and Cheats is an awesome uh, Google Sheet, a collection of Google Sheets for SEO. They work well with Mozbar Export. If you're not familiar with that, check out my old videos. It's spreadsheet data, data manipulate at will. So make sure that you mess around with this data and utilize it the way that you work. You know, work it into your workflow. Be sure to find averages, etc. And at the end of the review, uh, I will review Formula Bot. So Formula Bot is uh, a straightforward AI for uh, configuring formulas for Excel and Sheets. So in this first one uh, example, we inputted a column of domains and it gave us the rest of this information. So it gave us the status of the uh, URL, the where it redirects to, then it outputs a sitemap, and then it pulls these what, four columns from Wayback Machine as far as when it archived, what it archived, the status code, and the Wayback URL. So it's pretty strong. Um, I can think of a million uses for this data, and uh, I do work with a lot of Google Sheets stuff. So, to configure that sheet, um, you go to you add the Keywords and Sheets extension, and you open the sidebar, and from the sidebar you get these formulas, and these are the four formulas that were added to the sheet. So the first one is status code to check the status of that URL in the in column A. The next one is the redirect checker that uh, tells you where this redirects to, to make sure that your HTTPS, etc. The next one is your XML sitemap. You input the XML sitemap at the top and it uh, expands it and gives you the full XML sitemap inside of uh, Sheets. And then the last one is pulling the Wayback data. Pretty neat. Now, the second example is the real cool one. So we inputted a series of URLs, and just in this one column, we put one formula, and we got all this data. So if we look at it, we get the title, the meta description, the H1, H2, H3, the ro meta robots, the canonical, and the word count on the page. And for these H1 through H3, you can have it output just the first heading, or H1, or you can ask for it to give you all the headings. So um, this sheet was created uh, using the data at this page, Bitly Scrape for SEO. And basically on that page tells you a free script that you have to add and a library. It takes about five minutes to add it. Um, it does prompt with some weird security concerns. So you might, I mean, if you have real sensitive data inside of your Google Sheets, which or your Google Drive or your Google account overall, you may want to use a secondary account to do this. Um, again, it returns the status code, page title, the meta description, H1, H2, H3, the meta robots, canonical, and the word count. And remember, all headings could be optional, meaning if you wanted all the H1s or all the H2s that are on the page, you can modify the formula to output that. So basically, you got this entire thing from the list of URLs. And again, I output these from Mozbar. And this is the only formula that had to be added, SEO Scraper. Pretty neat. Now, finally, um, again, I've said it a couple of times, you know, it's nice to get this data, but the real magic is when you start to manipulate it. And last note, use ExcelFormulaBot.com. The name is kind of misrepresentative because it does sheets also, and you can configure some sheets trickery. Make sure to get an account, a free account on the site, and then you get all these extra options without logging in. I don't believe that you can uh, discern whether or not you want uh, the output to be for Sheets versus Google or uh, the Generate versus Explain. 
And here I utilized that system to add HTTPS to all the items in column A, and it gave me the output. Pretty neat. Anyway, that's Keywords and Sheets. Check it out. Any questions, leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, and hang around for the next video. Take care.